All right, so for those of you who follow my Instagram page, you've seen that I bought this van. It's a 99 GMC P3500 step van, 4.3. Uh, I'm gonna be turning this into a mobile repair shop. Is the inside. I just started taking it apart. Been working on it for about an hour. Got everything off up front. As you can see, this engine needs some love. Oh yeah. As you can see, all that oil that was shot out all over the wheel well when I was driving it on the way back. This thing definitely has uh, had some abuse. So excuse me, I'm sweating a little bit. It's kind of hot here, but yeah, so as you see, the engine is rough. Um, if you read my little thing on uh, Instagram and see my story, I bought this thing about 30 miles away from my house. I, I tried to drive it home just because I figured I'd give it a shot. I got about 10 miles in and nearly blew the engine up. Um, now, after pulling the valve covers off and taking a look at this thing, it's nasty. So. I'm honestly surprised that I made it as far as I did. Some positives so far. Looks like it's got a new radiator. Uh, it's got a new water pump. Um, and it does have uh, all the brake lines that are very rusty. All of those are replaced. So that is a huge plus, especially here in Ohio where I live. Rust is definitely an issue. So, um, the brake lines, that's a plus. I shouldn't have to mess with any of those because they do look pretty decent. Um, the inside of the van, as you can see, it's just a blank slate. And just for reference, this is me standing completely straight up and down. So I can stand up in this van. I'm about six foot tall. So that's pretty awesome. So I can stand up, no problem and uh, work on stuff as of right now you know i uh i just wanted to get into the engine and see what it looked like because i was contemplating either rebuilding it or getting a long block and i think i'm gonna get a long block um you can get those for these things for relatively cheap um, i don't have that much money in this van anyway so i have no problem putting another you know 1500 bucks into a long block not an issue um i did get a bunch of responses saying you know i should ls swap it or put a 350 in it or whatever i don't plan on doing that um, i'm trying to do a quick turnaround here the 4.3 is fine for me it'll have plenty of power for what i mean i'm not trying to race this thing i'm not trying to do burnouts i'm just trying to put a, a shop in this thing and drive around and fix people's cars um, the 4.3 is a pretty reliable little engine. I think that it'll be fine. So I'm just keeping it as it is. It will, um, it'll make the, this uh, build process a lot quicker, a lot easier. Everything will pretty much be plug and play, which is what I'm looking for here. And it does have a uh, 4L80 transmission. This whole cover right here actually comes off too. So you can access the top of the transmission and I think even all of this unbolts all the way around here. So you can get to quite a bit of stuff in this thing. This is it. This is the the beginning build uh, of the old P3500 GMC van. Um, like I said, it's going to be a mobile repair shop. I'm going to build this thing out back here. Put my tools, toolboxes. Uh, some supplies um we got some cool milwaukee stuff i'm gonna get in here i'm gonna basically just turn this into a uh, mobile repair shop i pull up and i fix it right there you know for the most part uh, anything that is wrong with your vehicle so here is the main point of failure you can see all the bearing material there and that rod does have play in it. It looks like it spun a bearing. 
and that uh, would explain my low oil pressure along with all the gunk and buildup we have in here so we're I got a long block order for it we're just gonna put a long block on it and uh, go from there the engine showed up ignore my messy garage it's a disaster right now there it is gasket set and this looks like it is probably an oil pump yep then the engine pretty so yeah that's the van if you guys are interested in seeing this thing and the build out make sure to uh, like and subscribe to my channel and make sure to keep checking back because we're going to be putting updates up um, as often as I'm working on it so thanks for watching hope you guys have a great day